Weird Fish Photos Explained. Welcome to Deep Sea Sundays. Number 17, Blue Ring Angelfish. Look at the color scheme of this creature. It kind of looks like neon blue striping against a black velvet background. The Blue Ring Angelfish is found in the Indo-West Pacific Oceans throughout Indonesia and north to Japan. The fish start off with this coloration, and as they mature, they'll develop violet coloring with semicircular marks on its body. The color scheme could fit right in with Tron. Number 16. Looks like this fish is being served up on a platter, doesn't it? It's actually a mola mola sunfish, usually found in the Atlantic Ocean. But this animal, weighing over 80 pounds, was discovered on a beach in Lincolnshire in the UK. You can see how the man who discovered it looks quite proud of his catch, quote unquote, since he actually found it. But while it's big enough to fill that plate, these fish actually get much bigger, weighing up to 5,000 pounds when mature. Number 15, giant mutant fish. Mutant fish are popping up in the rivers of Western Australia. Well, it seems that fish from aquariums are being dumped there by pet owners and have been found growing up to 20 times the normal size. You can see in these pictures how huge a goldfish has become. Normally, they weigh under 100 grams. In the wild, they grow to two kilograms. A koi fish was caught that measured around one meter long and weighed around eight kilograms. They usually grow to 38 centimeters and weigh about five kilograms. Native fish, such as the pygmy perch, are much smaller, often only 10 centimeters long. So these huge invaders are killing off the native species and damaging local ecosystems by introducing parasites and diseases into the ecology. Number 14 some catch. Take a look at the size of this monster. Chinese fishermen netted a group of fish that weighed over 370 pounds and measured more than a meter long. It was so big and heavy that a crane was needed to lift it. You can get a sense of the scale by seeing the big fish in relation to the fishermen at a port in South China. Groupers are sought after for fish food, and they often fetch high prices at fish markets. Number 13. Is this some sort of hideous mermaid or merman? No, our friends over at the Daily Mail ran a story that featured animals photobombing the pictures of families on vacation. There were many memorable shots, but since this episode deals with fish, here's the picture that best fits our subject. A puffer fish perfectly dropped its photobomb as it positioned itself over the head of a diver. Hopefully that person wasn't too close to the creature. Puffer fish are among the most toxic vertebrates in the world. Number 12. Bubble-eyed goldfish. Bet you've never seen a goldfish like this before. It's an exotic breed of goldfish that first swam into existence in China in the 1900s. But they have to be careful where they swim. Those upward pointing eyes are accompanied by two huge sacs filled with fluid. If the creature swims into an object, those eyes could literally burst. The good news is the sacs will regrow. Number 11. This looks like it could be a scene from a horror movie, but it's actually a wolf fish captured in a picture off the Norwegian coast by photographer Magnus Lundgren. If you look closely to the left, you can see the fish eyeballing a shrimp for its meal. We still say the teeth and leathery skin makes the wolf fish resemble an aquatic Nosferatu. Number 10. Is this shark rushing up to give you mouth to mouth? Well, you better hope not, and not exactly anyway. The Great White is trying to snack on the camera of photographer David Dubelay. He snapped this picture in the waters of South Africa before the shark snapped him up. He got away, by the way. Number nine deep sea selfies. In 2014, an Australian diver named Gary Brennan took a series of undersea selfies with various sea creatures. And here's a couple of pictures that caught our eye. Here you see Mr. Brennan posing with a Napoleon rice fish, also known as a humphead rice. The positioning of the creature and its vibrant coloration almost makes this look like a Photoshop effort, doesn't it? These fish can weigh around 180 kilograms and measure up to two meters head to tail. And that same photographer took this picture. Some people think this shot of the Napoleon Rice looks kind of like Mick Jagger. Would you say the comparison is satisfactory or are the fish's lips smaller? Number eight. 
We located this picture online, and it was so strange we had to include it here. It's said to be an x-ray of a 12-year-old boy in India who swallowed a fish as part of some sort of game. You can see the alleged fish toward the left. It was still alive at the time this x-ray was taken, but died soon after, according to sources. Some of us at Epic Wildlife think this picture could be genuine, while others think it's a fake, saying, why can't we see the fish's bones? What do you think? Number 7. This is a picture of a goldfish, minus its right eye. The unfortunate critter named Star is a pet goldfish that had surgery to remove the cancerous eye. Performed in the UK, the procedure cost Star's owners over $600, but they claim the fish's health was worth the expense. That cost also included an operation for another pet fish named Nemo. The veterinarians injected both fish with oxygenated water that contains an anesthetic to put them to sleep for the procedures. Last we heard, Star and Nemo were recovering from their surgeries. We'll keep an eye out for more details. Number 6. This amazing sight shows a diver apparently caught up in a vortex or whirlpool. But this picture by David Dubelay actually shows the diver surrounded by barracudas. Why do you think they make that formation? Number 5. Now here's another case of a goldfish being operated on. Now this time though, it's in Australia. As you can see, this goldfish was breathing through a tube down its throat as it received surgery to have a large tumor removed from its head, which made it difficult for it to swim and see. That ball-like mass in the veterinarian's hand is the tumor they removed. Number four. A fisherman in southern China was shocked when he went to his pond to choose a fish for dinner. He found a pair of conjoined fish there instead. The odd-looking growth underneath the fish is actually the smaller twin. The Nile tilapia fish became something of an attraction in the neighborhood. Maybe it was a case of Siamese fins. Number 3. Blue Lingcod. Did you think you were looking at a creature from Star Wars at first? Well, this weird looking critter is actually a Lingcod, a fish native to the North American West Coast from the Gulf of Alaska to Baja, California. They're big creatures weighing up to 130 pounds and measuring up to five feet long. You can see just how huge the mouth is here. The voracious predators feed on anything that they can jam right in there, including many species of fish that include herring, salmon, and rockfish. Did you know the ling cod is not related to either the ling or cod fish? Number two. Gotcha. Does it look like some sort of artistic pattern? It's actually a mimic blenny fish that has taken shelter in a coral. You can see his head pop out of the center as he scans for larger predators like a hungry octopus in the vicinity. These fish actually position themselves in holes within the coral that are made by worms. After hiding out from the octopus, this little fella tried to hide from the photographer, but he got caught all the same, on film anyway. Number one. Here's a fish that literally had a frog in its throat. After an angler in Queensland, Australia pulled in a jungle perch to retrieve the lure, he discovered a jolly green frog nestled inside the fish's mouth. And just take a look at that amphibian. It looks pretty smug to be so down in the mouth, but that moment didn't last long. Once the fisherman disturbed the creature, the frog escaped by jumping straight over the man's head. Do you think maybe it found another mouth to call home? 